What's up, everybody? Welcome into the Nesson Studios. Michaela Vernava joined via Skype by Trevor Bain, driver of the number six Ford Fusion for Roush Fenway Racing ahead of the Daytona 500. Trevor, I need to ask how you're approaching this season and if it's any different from the way you approached last season because you got off to such a strong start last season. Are you looking for a different strategy for more sustained kind of long-term success looking at this season? Yeah, that's kind of been the key point. I think uh, we started off really good. We were top 15 every weekend. We came to the Daytona 500 and ran well. Uh, but if I could change anything, I'd like to come here and win the Daytona 500 again, like we did in 2011, and uh, go ahead and lock ourselves into the playoffs and, and uh, be able to take some of that pressure off and just go to Atlanta going strong with uh, no worries of having to win to get in, but I think you can run better under less pressure. Um, if you look at our season last year, it was around summertime, you know, the, the, I guess right around the halfway point that we hit a little bit of a slump and we were able to climb out some, but uh, our whole mentality is about finishing strong, doing the little things, the little details that add up to the full result. And uh, if we're able to do that all year, I, I think we can do better than we did last season. Have you had a chance during the off season to kind of look back at that slump and pick apart some of the things that went wrong so that you're able to change them coming into this year and start off fresh? Yeah, our sport is such a team effort. And uh, when you're traveling every single weekend, you know, for 36 weekends straight uh, with no breaks hardly, and, and you haven't really run exactly how you want to, it's easy to start getting down or start beating each other up a little bit, so to speak, with your crew chief or with your team guys. And uh, I think we just got to keep each other motivated and do the little things that matter on the race cars and, and in the driver's seat, you know. Um, I feel like I did everything to the end of the year. I feel like I did it with enthusiasm and with all the effort that I started the season with. But somewhere along the way, we probably missed some of the small details that, like I said, add up to the result. Um, you know, basically, uh, you've got to keep your cars driving good. They got to be fast, and that's how you you get good finishes. So, um, my communication with Matt Fuchsia, my crew chief, just has to be better this season, and uh, we'll just have to work harder at some of our weaknesses. Um, I think our short track program, uh, Loudon, uh, New Hampshire, which is up your way. We need to be a little bit stronger there. Um, we need to be better at uh, Phoenix is one of our tracks. Um, and then we need to do the things we did well. Uh, we need to elevate those to so the super speedways where we were able to run really well, top five at a couple. Um, we need to go win those races this season and take advantage of that. You talk about the importance of working together as a team, and there haven't been many changes at Roush Fenway, which is unlike previous years. How can having some consistency heading into this season and carry over from last season help you guys work together as a more cohesive unit this year? That's going to be a key for us. I feel like last year was kind of laying the bricks in place, and this year is kind of the mortar in between. we got to refine all those big changes that we made. Um, we had a lot of structural um, you know, and personnel changes last year, and it takes some time to get all that to gel together and create a culture where you can build fast race cars and, and drive them well and do all the things you need to do. Um, so I think just trying to refine all those little things, uh, like I've talked about 10 times already, um, it's not going to be the big pieces that are just low hanging fruit that you can go and grab and go win races. It's going to be those little details that we have to work on. Well, I know that last time we talked to you, which was in New Hampshire, you did say that I mean, Roush had made a big jump from the previous season, and even though you did hit that slump and maybe it didn't end the way you would have wanted it to, how optimistic are you that you can continue the trend of moving up and doing better as a team this season? Yeah, so even what we consider a slump last year was better than the previous year by far. So uh, that, that feels good to know that running top 15 doesn't feel like an improvement, uh, even though it was. Um, so we just need to keep stepping that up. We need to be able to run top 10 every week um, to get the stage points that we've all talked about are so important. Um, we need to win races, and, and it's going to take time. I'm not saying we can go from running 15th last year to winning five races, but uh, just steadily improving. If we can get to where we run top 10, uh, we can make the playoffs even without a win, which we plan on winning. Um, and, and you just got to keep working at it. You can't let it beat you down. Um, it's easy to say, oh, we're 15th. That's all we've got. But you, you just can't do that. You got to keep your team together and work hard. Trevor, you always have such a great attitude. It's great talking with you and good luck this weekend. Thank you. Thanks for having me on.